What is going on all my fellow nerds and geeks? It has finally happened. I finally changed the background. I finally got rid of the Christmas stuff. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it this way yet. You can kind of see I've got all the Marvel Studio stuff over here with like the Iron Man helmet. And then I've got all my Chris Umunga statues with the Batman cowl here. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it that way yet. Uh, I just needed a change. So I figured let's get it done. And so there it is for now. Uh, I do really like the way I have the Marvel Studios all set up. I just need, I wanna incorporate it a little better with the sign and stuff, so. Uh, but I've got an unboxing today. I have got a uh, Target mail call. I do like the way they are, you know, having this fun packaging. I hope that it does not deplete from the fact that sometimes their stuff comes damaged. So let's go ahead and just get right into this guy. Uh, I know what this is already, and I posted a picture of one of these on my Instagram, but I uh, I didn't actually buy it because I knew that I had ordered it already. So, and there was some deal where when you bought the game, you got this for free, but when I talked to the guy there, he had no idea what I was talking about. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what the deal is with that. So we got a box inside of a box. So yet again, some fun little packaging. But like I said, hopefully that does not deplete from the actual product inside because the packaging can be fun and look nice, but if the box inside is trashed, then that is no good. So it is wrapped in the bubble wrap, but sometimes when they do that, they kind of wrap it a little too much. So upon first glance, it looks good. So we have the Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora Target Exclusive. Uh, I did actually pick up this game and I played the first little bit. I didn't play a ton of it yet. And uh, so we will see, I don't know the significance of the orange versus the gray. So we will see if it is have some kind of significance or if it's just uh, a random variant color. But I do really love the mold on this pop. I got the flocked one I posted in a video uh, a few videos ago. So I'm hoping that the orange has a significance. And it is pretty much the same mold, just different color. But, you know, it's got all the cool stuff like I showed before. It's got the little... Uh, thing on the back of the keychain here that I thought was a really cool little detail. Yet again, you wouldn't see if you didn't take your pops out of the package. But the way they did the hair is really good. It's kind of that red, but you can kind of see it kind of morphs. It, it slightly goes darker black on the edges and stuff, so it looks really good. Um, I love this pop. This is definitely a really cool Kingdom Hearts pop. So um, I wouldn't mind seeing this flocked in the orange flock. I would definitely buy it again in the orange flock, obviously. So, uh, but just the small little details on this thing. You know, you've got the the uh, Monsters Inc. helmet there on the Keyblade. And then like I said, you've got Boo on the back here. So really, really cool. I really like that. Uh, and then moving right along, the next thing is not a pop per se. It is going right along with my Chris Humonga statues, and that is the uh, zombie variant of the Flash. And the dog just stole the receipt. So as you open it up, you can see there, you've got the zombie variant. I'm trying to see, it's hard to tell what you guys are seeing. So, and then you've got the little um, art piece here. Uh, Okay, sorry about that. The dog got their seat and he was going to town on that thing. So uh, yeah, what I was saying is I really do love the Chris Umunga art and I'm hoping this year at Emerald City that he is there. I really hope so. Or if he's not there that I can find some of his art somewhere. Uh, I actually left a spot open on the edge uh, right around here so that I could pop this guy right in the spot. Uh, I really like these flash statues. I really like the, the Chris Humunga style. And unfortunately there is one that I am missing and I'm hoping 
that I can find. I don't have any of the the uh, Wonder Woman ones. I just don't collect Wonder Woman. But I do have uh, all the ones that I want except for one. There is still one that I don't know if I will be able to get because it seems to be a very difficult piece. And that is the... Um, the uh, Joker Batman. And that was one of the first ones that came out and it was a Hot Topic slash, uh, no, not Hot Topic, sorry, GameStop. I'm having some struggles here with this piece of plastic. There we go. It was a uh, uh, GameStop Think Geek exclusive. And unfortunately I was not collecting these at that time. And so I was unable to find him. And so these are limited to a thousand. It looks like I've got 637 out of a thousand. You can kind of see there. It's very poorly written, but this thing is, I mean, just amazing with the details. You've got the cut up suit. Uh, I love with these Chris Among it's gonna be hard to focus on this versus me, on these Chris Among Us statues, how it has the the little smoke back here, but it's like a translucent blue for this one. It's different for each one I've noticed uh, versus it's like a more of a purple for that. And then the, the one on the end is a glow in the dark. So it's, it's all glow in the dark. But I mean, you can see the spatter dirt definitely has that zombie feel. You can see like around the eyes and stuff. There's like the yellowing color, just an amazing statue. The dog is driving me insane. He is getting everything he can. Um, so yeah, this, just amazing. And they all come with the little piece of art inside. Unfortunately with these, uh, you could take them out. There is a little perforated edge along the top here to take them out. And there is actually two pieces of art in here that I've noticed with the newer ones. You can actually see one sitting behind it. Uh, I would like to take them out, but I don't want to tear that out. I'd like to do some kind of display with all the little pieces, because each one of these all came with one as well. And they all have their own. And then with like the these two here, which are the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives, they came with one of each. So I've actually got two of the whole set. There's actually three. I passed on one because it was pretty expensive and I was not wanting to spend that much money on one of the statues. I probably won't. And then there's another version of the blue I found that's like a metallic that was one of the early prints. So, or one of the early pieces. But for me, I just would really like to find some Chris Umunga art to go along with these. And then, like I said, also find that Joker Batman. So that is it for this episode. Just a quick little episode to show off my new digs back here, show off my new stuff. I got some cool little uh, pieces. And yeah, that is it for this episode. And if you would like to follow me on Instagram, at NerdSmithing, you could see some up-close pictures of some pops I pictured and... Um, all that fun stuff. I've got some 3D prints up there and all kinds of stuff. I haven't really been doing much 3D printing. Just got a lot going on right now. And that t it's pretty time consuming for that one. So yeah, thank you for watching. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you ring that little bell down there, you'll get the updates on my new uh, videos when I post them. So that is it. And yeah, thank you for watching everybody. And as always, stay awesome people.